Dave Palumbo here with another RX Muscle rant. I'm so crazy sick and tired of hearing about insulin this, insulin that. The topic of today's rant is why insulin does not build muscle. That's right. Everyone's in shock. They just heard that statement. That's right. Insulin doesn't build muscle. It does not build muscle. Does anyone know what insulin does? Let's, let's look at the physiology of what insulin does. Let's look at the biochemistry, the mechanisms of what insulin was, is designed for. Insulin is released by the pancreas, the, specifically the beta cells of the pancreas, in response to elevated blood sugar. As you eat carbohydrates or as your body produces its own carbohydrates from amino acids, which happens all the time in the liver, okay, blood sugar elevates glucose. In order for that glucose to get into the cells, into the muscle cells, into the fat cells to turn into fat, into the brain cells to be fed, into the liver to turn into glycogen, you need insulin. Insulin is the hormone that facilitates the movement of sugar into the different cells. Without insulin present, blood sugar rises indefinitely and we have what's called type 1 diabetes, okay? That's not uh, a normal physiological state. So insulin's job in the body, one job is to regulate blood sugar. How people think that insulin is going to build muscle is beyond me because it doesn't have any muscle building effects. Carbs don't build muscle, and since insulin drives only carbohydrates into the muscle, essentially, there's no anabolic effect from that, other than the fact that well-hydrated, well-fed muscles tend to be more anabolic. So you might get an indirectly anabolic effect from insulin, but taking tons of insulin is gonna do nothing more than to make you fat. Now, the question is, why when people take growth hormone and they add insulin into the mix, do they gain muscle? That's the question, because that's when we see insulin exerting its anabolic effect. Not when these stupid young kids take 30 IUs of insulin during the day and they're on nothing else except maybe a couple shots of testosterone. Those guys don't get muscle, they get fat. They get watery, bloated, and fat. Okay, but there are bodybuilders at the elite level who are taking, you know, a lot of growth hormone, or taking some growth hormone at least, who are combining it with insulin and are getting an anabolic effect. Why is that? Well, let's examine what GH does. Growth hormone is not a muscle building hormone. It's an indirectly muscle building hormone. Actually, in and of itself, growth hormone is actually, um, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a catabolic hormone, but it's a fat mobilizing hormone. It kind of does the opposite of what insulin does. GH directly stimulates the fat cells to liberate fatty acids. It burns body fat. Indirectly, when growth hormone is broken down by the liver, it releases another hormone known as IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor one. Now let's put that aside for a second, okay? Let's put the IGF aside, which is a truly anabolic hormone, probably the most anabolic hormone in the body, and we'll talk about what that does in a second and differentiate it from insulin, because people confuse the two, okay? When people take growth hormone, because it indirectly, excuse me, because it directly stimulates fat burning, and it's doing the opposite of what insulin is doing, it can somehow, sometimes inhibit insulin from doing its job, meaning the insulin can't push the glucose into the muscle cells, into the fat cells, into the brain cells, into the liver cells, because too much GH is in the way. It's getting in the way of the receptor. If we don't absorb the, the glucose, okay, and get those nutrients into the cells to feed them to enable the cells to, to, to perform work at the gym, then we're going to inhibit the building or muscle building response. So indirectly, GH can inhibit insulin from doing its job. In people who don't produce a lot of insulin, and, when, and, and in people who take growth hormone in that situation, and, don't allow, and it doesn't allow their insulin to do its job, those people, when they add insulin into the equation, notice an anabolic effect from it. And it's not really an anabolic effect from the insulin. What the insulin is doing is it's restoring the normal absorption of glucose. And it's actually taking the burden off the pancreas. So it's actually a healthier thing to do. If you have, too much, if you have a lot of GH around and, and the insulin can't do its job, the pancreas has a burden of producing extra insulin. And a lot of times it can burn the pancreas out, which is something we don't want. So GH causes insulin resistance. Taking exogenous insulin in that situation can create or at least give the appearance of an anabolic okay, response in the muscle. But what we're really doing is just restoring normal, I guess you could say, hormonal balance in the body. So insulin in and of itself is really a fat storage hormone. It's a facilitator of moving glucose into the cells, which is something we need so we can use this, this glucose as fuel, but it's not anabolic in and of itself. 
GH in and of itself is not an anabolic hormone. It doesn't build muscle. IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor, does two things in the body. It can bind to IGF-1 receptors, and when it does that very strongly, okay, what happens? Muscle hyperplasia takes place. The rebuilding of muscle tissue, and truly anabolic response happens inside the muscle cells. The more damage the muscle has incurred in the gym, okay, the more IGF-1 receptors are present, the more the IGF-1 can bind to those receptors and have that anabolic response. IGF-1 can also bind to insulin receptors. That's why it has an insulin-like effect. But its affinity for insulin receptors is 10 times less potent than insulin. So insulin is a much stronger uh, hormone to bind to those receptors. But when you take a shot of IGF-1, you could notice a little bit of blood sugar drop because it does have an insulin receptor binding effect. But when we talk about pure muscle building anabolic hormones, insulin does not fit that definition. IGF-1 does, okay, growth hormone stimulates IGF-1 indirectly, so when we talk about anabolic hormones, we do classify GH as an anabolic protein hormone. Now, we're talking about protein hormones, because anabolic steroids have anabolic effects in a different sense that we're going to remove from this equation. But from a, t from a purely protein hormone response, insulin is not anabolic, so stop injecting tons of insulin okay thinking you're going to get big when in fact you're just going to get fat stop it learn the science of what's going on okay educate yourself so that if you want to achieve a certain look you know how to do it and you're not just shooting drugs into yourself praying that they're going to work because that's why there's not a lot of great looking bodybuilders out there there's a lot of hack bodybuilders i call it out there bloated fat bodybuilders out there because they don't know the science of what they're doing. Hopefully you guys have learned a little something from this video. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. It's another Dave Palumbo rant.